But we turn now to the rest of the day's news. And new legislation announced today to tackle cyberbullying. The deaths of Amanda Todd and Retea Parsons brought the issue into focus, and the government promised action. So a new law will make posting intimate photos online without consent a crime. The aim is to prevent more tragedies. But as one federal minister acknowledged, it's just the first step. Duncan McHugh has more. Bullying and harassment can involve a really big misuse of power. Looks like fun and games, but this is serious stuff. They're learning to counsel their peers on how to avoid bullying. Yet even their instructor admits it's hard to stop what happens online. What I hear is that they're feeling swarmed online, that they're overwhelmed sometimes by what happens online, and that they don't, they feel a little bit helpless to, to do anything about it. Hey guys, it's Amanda and I'm going to be saying someone like you. The deaths of two teens, Amanda Todd and Retea Parsons, brought the pain of online bullying home to Canadians. Both exploited through social media. Both repeatedly reported the harassment to police. Little was done. We're saying today that help is available. Now, the Justice Minister is proposing new tools to help police crack down on online bullying. It's a crime where a simple click of a button can have irreversible, irre irreparable repercussions for youth. Under the proposed cyberbullying law, it would be illegal to distribute intimate images without consent with a penalty of up to five years in jail. The law would empower courts to order the removal of intimate images from the Internet, to reimburse victims for the cost of that, and to seize computers or cell phones used in an offense. It might have been enough, says Carol Todd, to save Amanda. Maybe she would be alive and she could be an advocate for um, cyberbullying and bullying awareness and, and she would be out there helping other kids. Still, amongst teens, so much of bullying online is cruel, insidious comments and texts about looks or weight or sexuality. And government funding for anti-bullying programs is crucial to stop that, says this expert on teen bullying. Knowing that the legislation is out there isn't necessarily going to prevent most young people from not participating in cyberbullying. What's more effective is education. Discuss a time when you felt helpless, then suddenly knew what to do and did it. This attempt to tackle a confounding and evolving crime came about because of two deaths which police are still investigating. In Retea Parsons' case, two teenage boys faced child pornography charges Charges have yet to be laid in the death of Amanda Todd. Duncan McHugh, CBC News, Vancouver. Former Quebec Premier Lucien Bouchard revealed today that he was bullied as a child. That was part of a video he made in French for an anti-bullying campaign. I've not only seen gestes d'intimidation, but I've also suffered myself. I know what it is to be intimidated by someone who is much older, much more than you are. Moi, je dis non à l'intimidation. The video was released as part of Bullying Awareness Week.